it's Trina and I'm doing a Tuesday Talks video today which was created by Janie and Janelle and I will put all of the group and creator information down in the description bar below. I haven't done one of these in a while but I really wanted to talk about this week's topic which is what do you think about book summaries. So I want to talk about why I don't read book summaries and what I mean when I say I don't read book summaries because like sometimes I do. I think that everybody wants to know a different amount of information when you go into books and I do like to say summaries about books when I do a review or wrap up so that for those that do want to know more about a book before they pick it up, you have that option and then other people, you can always skip or mute over that part if it's going to be too much information for you. But years ago, when I was reading a lot less, I did used to always read book summaries and I would read it before I bought the book and then when I would get the book, I would read that book jacket again right at the time that I was starting the book. So I would read the summary and then go straight into the book. And eventually I started to pick up on the fact that a lot of summaries tell you way too much about the plot of a book because I would read this awesome summary and then start the book and things mentioned in the summary didn't happen until like the last quarter of the book. So I was waiting around forever for the plot to pick up and I would get bored or it would kind of spoil a big reveal that would happen later on. So that's why I don't like reading book summaries anymore because I've had too many instances where they gave away way too much. Sometimes I've said that I like to go into books blindly like knowing nothing and that's not entirely true. Like I'm not just gonna walk into a store pick up some random book, go home, and think I'll like it. Like, I have to know a little bit about a book, but I don't like to know the summary. Things that will make me read a book without knowing what it's about is if the book is by an author who I've read some of their previous books and really liked them enough to think I like their writing style and the stories that they tell, so I will take a chance on their next book and I don't need to know what it's about. Um, also, genres, um, if books are being highly compared to other books I know that I like. Now that's a double-edged sword because I actually don't like book comparisons, but I will admit that they do get me to pick up some books sometimes. That kind of marketing works even if it's not always beneficial or 100% accurate. It does work. It does help me get books in my hands. And also just book hype, um, especially books that haven't come out yet. If I know that a book is being like way hyped, and a good example of this one was Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, which came out earlier this year, that book had so much pre-release hype. I really wanted to read that book because so many people were talking about it without even having read it yet. And when a book is that hyped, I want to read it for myself and for my own opinion. Whether or not I think I'm actually going to like it, I still want to read it and kind of be part of that hype and figuring it out on my own instead of waiting like a year later when the hype wave has totally just crashed over me and it's almost like spoiled or I have way too many expectations because the hype has gotten so out of hand by that point. Like I try to catch hype like at the beginning of it, like right when the book comes out so that there aren't like so many opinions out there. That usually kind of helps me to form my own opinion, but hype does drive me into picking up books. And another thing that helps me know if I want to read books or not. If, without reading the summary, it just if I'm hearing reviews or very brief thoughts by booktubers or book bloggers or just book reviewers that I know and trust and I know how my book interests line up with theirs. We don't have to love the same genres and have rated the same books the same stars, but if I know your tastes well enough, that is also more likely to make me want to pick it up and check it out for myself. So usually I really just go by, is this an author that I know and like? Are people giving this book good or bad reviews? Are people that I know reading this book, what is it being compared to and what is the hype like? Those are kind of the things that help me know if I want to pick up a book or not. Now when I am unsure about a book for whatever reason, if it's maybe a new author I have never read before or a genre that I've been really shaky about in the past or people are kind of saying mixed reviews or if it's a book that I just have absolutely never heard about. I just like kind of come across it on Goodreads or come across it from somebody and I want to know more. In those cases I will go to Goodreads and read the summary. But but usually, just from the first one or two sentences in the summary, I will know at that point already if it's something that I'm interested in or not. Because usually if I'm going to be hooked by a summary, it's going to be in those first couple of sentences. And if I know it sounds like something really interesting to me, I just stop reading the summary. I don't read anymore. I just mark it as want to read and then pick it up at whatever time. There are just some tropes and cliches that I don't like. And if that's the way that the summary like leads with, those things will turn me off in one or two sentences and I will just be like, nope 
nope, I'm not interested, and just kind of pass over the book for the time being. But if I just don't have an idea, if I want to read it or skip it, I will keep reading the summary and then try to determine at that point. And then probably those books are ones that I'm not super excited about, so I'm not going to read them right away. And by the time I do read them, I will have forgotten what I read in that summary, so it's not like too much of spoilers. Those are cases when I do read the summaries, and I definitely would love to chat with you guys and know what you guys think about book summaries. Do you like to read them? Do you not like to read them? How much do you like to know about books before going in and kind of what makes you pick up a book? I would love to know those things. Thank you so much for watching and for chatting with me today and I will see you guys in the comments. Bye!